So, hi, it's Ashley here. I am now in my hometown in New Jersey. I've been doing a mix of chilling home in the house that I grew up in and running around like crazy maniac per usual, but today I am going into New York City and tomorrow I am going in New York City. Um, I have a lot of friends that live in the city and I like to go in and shoot different content. So all the updates, of course, I post the most on Instagram at Coffee Nut, but subscribe, let's do this. Hello, New York! Oh my gosh, I'm in the West Village, which is literally my favorite part of the city. It's the best for like the cutest dogs too. So the first person that I'm meeting up with isn't until 11. So I have like a half hour, maybe grab some coffee, find some food. Cute dog! Also, I love that it's just like not weird holding a camera. Like there's a lot of content creation that goes on in the city. So, let's do it. Let's see how long my hair stays down before I get frustrated and put it up and like throw a hat on or something. Cause it's definitely hotter out than when me and my mom were here the other day. It was so cute, we just came here, we went shopping in Soho. It was a vibe, but yeah. So meeting up with a bunch of different friends today um, and I'm really excited about it. A lot of people that I know either live in the city or just outside of the city. Like look how pretty this street is. Like this is literally like all of these brownstone buildings. It's like my favorite, especially in the fall. Oh, stunning. Okay, first stop. Okay, coffee was good, just got a flat white, and then I forgot that I didn't really have breakfast. I had like a granola bar, but that was pretty much it. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna run and get a bagel. But it's actually so funny because I was, you know, just looking at Google reviews to decide which bagel shop I was gonna try. And you guys think I'm critical about bagels? Oh my gosh. New Yorkers are another level. Like all of the <laughs> reviews were like, oh, like the crust wasn't crunchy enough or lack of flavor or something. It was really funny. Also interesting because now on Google Maps, it literally has Taylor Swift's old Cornelia Street home which if you are a T-Swizzle fan, I'll never walk Cornelia, I'd never walk Cornelia Street again. Queen, sorry. I apologized, that's my own, my own bad. I went across the street though and go in the shade. Shout out. So yeah, her house is, old house that she rented is down there. Oh, Tacombi is so good. I'm pretty sure this is the location that Emma Chamberlain went to in her like most recent video was this this Tacomi. Her tacos are so good. Yeah, so just walk around the West Village going to get my bagel. Got the bagel. Okay, what is up? Okay, it was like what is up with my camera today and the lighting? Um, hair's already up. It's like really hot out. I'm like sweating. I did bring a change of clothes with me, so I brought like a massive backpack, which uh, we'll see how that goes. But almost at literally my favorite cafe. For a mix of the coffee and the aesthetics, but it's just such a nostalgic cafe for me. And it's called Cafe Kitsune. So just chilling in the West Village. 
literally the best place for coffee and then people and dog watching. And um, a dog did, uh, you know, had a dump and it's really interesting because we've just been walking all these people. We've just been watching all these people accidentally step in it. And like they have their headphones and they're talking so it's not like you can warn them. But um, yeah, welcome to New York. Okay, that technically was like coffee number three. I did put on sunscreen guys, don't you worry. Hat is on now, hair's tied back. So I'm headed to the subway now. I'm gonna catch the the L train across town to the East Village and meet up with another friend at another one of my fave cafes, La Cabra, which is a Scandinavian cafe. Denmark, I believe. And yeah, super excited. I don't know that show, but they're filming here. Harlem, season two. I decided to just walk because it was like about the same time by the time I got to a subway station. So I called this walk. Walking still through the village. This is more like Greenwich Village right now. Walking to Square Park is that way. Are you proud of me? I waited for the crosswalk to turn white. I was being lazy, but I'm back on my camera. Still walking to the East Village. It's like cool in the shade, which is really nice because the city can get extremely, extremely humid. So, it's definitely a lot nicer in the shade, that's for sure. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, the bagel was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Well, okay, it's hard to say the bagel was good, but the avocado that they used wasn't fully ripe yet. So that kind of hindered the taste. And then I didn't love the way they did their eggs. So, anyway, I think the bagel was good. That woman was just giving me the dirtiest look because I'm talking to a camera. This is New York City. Come down. As you leave the West Village, there's not as many brownstone buildings. Tear. Kind of become more of a mishmash. I don't even want to know how expensive the townhouses are here. Like, I cannot even imagine. Completely did not realize that the street I was going down, I'm passing the ever so famous Stuyvesant Square something. Anyway, this building, let me, the one with the ivy on the corner, you know? Okay, let's cross the street and get you a better view. This famous building, that is stunning. I'm gonna get some photos. Welcome to the East Village. Like this is especially stunning in the fall. I was here this past fall, literally to go to the same cafe that I'm about to go to. And it's so stunning with all of the ivy. Oh, I think they're doing a TikTok. I don't really know. This is also a really good coffee shop, 787. They're all around the city, but this is not where I'm going right now. But a good spot, they are Puerto Rican owned. I was able to snag a table outside. It was so nice to see my friend Alex. She literally is like one of my OG cafe hopping buddies. Like she's one of the first person, I think she's like the first person I went around New York City with and did like a bunch of cafes in one day. It was so much fun. It was May of, was it last May, I think? And it was so much fun, we just went to a bunch of cafes in Brooklyn, and it was like, the bomb. But, oh yeah. No, sorry. Yes, I'm filming myself, someone waved, he thought he was in the shop, but um. Yeah, I'm headed to grab like a late lunch. I'm very predictable, I'm going to like my favorite spot to get food, so. Very predictable. but it honestly might, so that's a blast. I don't have an umbrella, which is crazy because I normally like pack for an apocalypse, especially with how massive my backpack is today. But Ruby's is my fave. They have a couple locations around the city. It's just like the perfect spot to go and eat alone or with friends. 
great brunch food, Australian inspired. It was actually the first place, I was talking with someone about this earlier today, that like really started, in my opinion, the Australian cafe trend in New York City, especially avocado toast. Like, Ruby's was the first place that had avocado toast. Or like one of the first, at least in New York City. So now I'm headed south down to Soho from the East Village. Just like walking everywhere today. I think I have to cross. Soul Cycle, I miss you. You are my favorite workout class. Oh, I miss you. This bakery is really famous, but they don't have anything dairy free. So I've never been able to have any of their stuff. In Soho, you can tell by like the change of some of the architecture, it's so, so stunning. I do love the West Village and the brownstone buildings, but honestly, some of the architecture here is so stunning. It's like hard to believe that it's in a place like New York City, but I'm almost at my last cafe meet of the day. Oh wait, World Trade, what up? So cash. I would highly recommend going on the top. It's such a, so worth the cost. Um, so much better than the top of the Empire State Building. Because the top of the Empire State Building is like covered, whereas the World Trade is a lot more modern. In my opinion, it's a lot cooler. Oh, that was a step. Oh my goodness, Ashley. Here it is. Oh, they have outdoor seating now. This is cute. It's called Butler. Last coffee spot was so nice. It's like drizzling out, of course, but just crossing my fingers, it's not pouring, but I'm headed to the subway. Is he honking at me? Whatever. And I'm gonna head back up to Penn Station. Well, I didn't go to Penn Station today. Anyway, that's where I'm headed.